never will I know it. I'm stationary, stationary, stationary. Want to know what happens when I, Victor Kinder, take two of the biggest comedians in the UK. I have no idea what's coming my way today and I like it like that. Blindfold them. Can anyone put on some relaxing whale music? And put them into a whole new world they know absolutely nothing about. There we are. It's oh. like, oh no. Oh, no, no, no. They're going to need to keep cool. I knew NFTs were going to be really big exactly right now. Stay sharp. The face is a foot. It's a foot face. And look like they know exactly what they're doing. It's about your childhood. It's about all our childhoods, isn't it? I'll watch everything they do from here. And with an expert, we'll decide who we think did best. Everything ready? This is Razor Sharp. I'm in a van with strangers and I don't know where I'm going. So this is already pretty much worst case. I don't need to see where I'm going. I want to tell you a little secret. In London, I don't know where I'm going even if I can see out the window. Going head to head in today's Razor Sharp Challenge. Do you know, I have a lot of trust, but I don't think I have physical trust. <laughs> Our comedians, Catherine Ryan. You know what? Maybe I don't want to take the blindfold off. And Tucson Douglas. Helping me judge whether Catherine and Toussaint have what it takes to bluff their way through the world of contemporary art. If you wrote, this is not an orange, that will be spot on. Wow. Is actual curator, Fatosh Uztek. They're going to be contemporary artists, talking to some real life modern art fans about pieces they won't know they've created until the moment those blindfolds come off. Okay, Catherine, Toussaint, blindfolds off. Let's do this. Ladies and gentlemen, Catherine Ryan. When I took the blindfold off, uh, I wasn't relieved um, because actually I was enjoying it, having the blindfold on. First of all, I have to ask, why now? Why now? Now. It's all about now. We are now, you know, right here in this space is now. Beautiful hipsters. You're all so talented and young and fresh, as I was 30 years ago. I just thought they won't take me seriously because of how aesthetically gorgeous I am. So I waited. And then all of a sudden it became really cool to be a woman. And now it's like, a woman? Let's hear what, what she has to say. And what is it about the contemporary art world that first appealed to you? I feel like if you're not talented at other genres, Renaissance, classical, Rubens. Is an artist. Or, watercolors, then contemporary is something that is accessible to even someone who's not talented. She's very confident. Mm. I like that. Well, I think on, on that note, we should probably take a look at a few select pieces mm -hmm. that give an overall sense of your extraordinary oeuvre. Shall we? Thank you. I've seen a little bit about, you know, the world of art. I was once invited to a gallery where a boxer put paint on his gloves and just punched up a bunch of walls. I feel like I am a contemporary artist now. I mean, what is contemporary art, you know? I just think a really rich lady sponsored him because he was hot. To really appreciate this piece, um, it's necessary to be seated. So if we could all just... <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> I like this. When I created this piece, I really felt like when you feel like you're walking alone and you only see one footprint in the sand, that is when the universe was carrying your other leg. Oh, this is so deep. And then I was really taken aback to find out how many people online are interested in feet. And you can see here that um, the face is a foot. It's a foot face. And what is the title of this piece? Effervescence in D minor. And is this about your childhood? It's about all our childhoods, isn't it? You know, when we look at like the classic def definition of art, like how do you tidy up all this like wild, you know, set of references into a kind of much more of a aligned, aligned, you know, yeah. thinking. I was just about to say that. So here we have one of your original NFTs, and I'd love to hear a little bit more about 
What drew you towards the digital world? I knew NFTs were going to be really big exactly right now. What does NFT stand for? Nobody knows that. It doesn't actually stand for anything. That's the obscurity of it. So when people say non-fungible tokens, this is... What did you call it? Non-fungible tokens. No, that doesn't no. make any sense. Seeing myself realized in 8-bit form was a very uh, moving experience for myself. And sorry, <laughs> it's a bit emotional, this piece, actually. Wonderful. Would you be able to tell us the starting price? Three pounds. Three pounds does not sound like a good price to value art. Probably talking at least about two million. And like this is also, I think, a very good mockery of the new kind of like almost like a crashing wave of NFTs. Three pounds? Three pounds, yeah. You know how NFTs move. It's already gone up in value to three million pounds since I sold it to you. Congratulations. An initial profit of two million. £999,997. I should have maybe sold it a bit higher, but that's great. I'm glad that you have no that regrets. Kind of money. A lot of those hipsters in the audience will never have seen me do stand-up comedy before. Maybe they believed that I was a credible contemporary artist. Freedom, cool stuff. Freedom is actually very restrictive when you really think about it. So I think the main appeal of this piece is its interactive nature. And I would love for you to demonstrate that with the help of a couple of volunteers. I'm gonna need someone uh, who feels motivated by freedom. Now, can I please have a volunteer who feels like they identify with the quest toward cool stuff? I think it should be the other way around because you're wearing more cool stuff, so. What I would like you to do, to gently whip the rope to make fluid lines and that's when the art comes alive. Up and down, up and down, in waves. Do I want those trainers or do I want to vote? There we are. Oh no. No. No, 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 I no, think, sorry. No, no. I'm, I'm very sorry. I did ask you yeah. to make sure uh -huh. that everyone at this very exclusive yeah. showing was genuinely invested in my work. Oh, no, I need you to get rid of her. We've got a special interactive bit at the end, if that's, if that's all right. Should we, is, is that all right? No. I present to you a once in a lifetime piece, stationary with nondescript item art. Still. <laughs> oh no, the thumb of life. Stationary, citrus, motion, juice. Move forward and juggle the balls of life. <laughs> she just wanted some orange. Masked, unmasked, stationary. Body hair, razor, shaves it off. Pain, joy, sorrow, feet. Never will I know it. I'm stationary, stationary, stationary still. Ladies and gentlemen, Catherine Ryan. I love an orange. Yeah, me too. I have a favorite, I think. I know. <laughs> I think you know. I feel like you look like a convincing artist, for sure. You know, I look like a struggling artist. You look like an artist that actually sells their paintings. <laughs> Catherine Toussaint. Hi. First of all, I want to say well done. And second of all, I hope this challenge grew your love for art. I had an awesome time. 100%. I want to introduce you to Fatoj. She is a global art curator and writer, and she oh. was the expert watching you both melt down. Fatoj, tell them how do you think they did. Thank you so much. I think both of you did really good, and you both like invested in it. I thought, Catherine, you were really in your element, very creative, very spot on with like references and engaging the curator and the audience. Susan, I think you were very good, but I felt you were a bit anxious and you kind of like over talked yourself. Anxious <laughs> and out of place. That's <laughs> yeah. Absolutely nailed but me. Thank you, Sotos. Cheers. The shirt is a winner, though. It's however... not even mine, so but thank you. <laughs> Brilliant. Very good. And however, Catherine, I thank you really convinced me as an artist. So with that all in mind, I have made my decision and the winner of this challenge is...
Catherine Ross. Yes. Thank you, Patush. Thank you, Tucson, a worthy adversary. Thank you for this incredible, fun, exciting challenge. Mm -hmm. So we actually have dinner, mm -hmm. us three. Mm -hmm. Tucson, if you could actually juice the oranges that I left around the back. Oh, yeah, no, I can do that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, go. In the name of art, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Cool. Have a good time, cool. guys. Thank you.